Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Stephanie Robles here. Let me get in some good light. Yes, you guys see me in my car because <laughs> my kids are watching Peppa Pig and they're being loud. So I had to do this video because I'm going to be crazily busy today. Um, and I wanted to talk about ran random acts of kindness. I, my grandmother came from, uh, she raised me to say this. It's funny how the quickest way to fixing a problem or the way you feel you're depressed or you're feeling some type of way, helping by helping somebody else out with their problem takes your mind off of, some, off of your own. So yesterday I went out into my community. It was raining, had an umbrella, and <laughs> thank you, Sarah. <laughs> um, and sitting here and just helping people out just random acts of kindness i wasn't asking for money i wasn't doing anything to that sort but just sitting here and just helping people out with their problems just random acts of kindness I, people at first were looking at me like i was completely weird and i will i guarantee you that i felt weird but i also felt really good when i started helping people just randomly just holding the doors open walking someone to the car with an umbrella they didn't have one on the sudden downpour helping somebody go food shopping an elderly that needed help uh doing grocery shopping because she had trouble walking um helping that person go back to their house and put it away talking to them having extra food and seeing a mom who's like uh just had a baby needed help and i cooked extra food yesterday so i just randomly w dropped it off at her house and just went about my business i didn't understand how foreign that concept is about taking care of your fellow neighbor or helping a community member out just randomly just because you wanted to just because it makes you feel good about yourself maybe you could be going through depression or if you suffer from depression sitting here going out and doing something in this magnitude makes you feel good makes you feel good makes you feel better and at the same time you get out and it boosts yourself up it makes you feel good it makes them feel good and it isn't about you know being applauded it's not about getting that recognition for doing it at all it's just simply um helping somebody out i didn't understand how foreign that concept was the quickest way to stop yourself from worrying about your own problems is by helping somebody deal with theirs i don't have i'm not a millionaire i don't have a lot of money but what i do have that's valuable is time time uh time doesn't cost anything at all it doesn't cost to help another person out with a problem sometimes we're too proud as people to actually sit here and when we actually need the help say hey I need help I get that I'm pretty I'm a pretty proud person too even with four kids out here grabbing uh uh, crap choke weeds out of my yard and and my oldest kid was watching the other kids and I'm out here just slaving away in 90 degree weather because I wanted I just wanted peace and quiet sometimes sometimes just doing that on its own is is therapeutic in a way but I remember a time when I was growing up where random acts of kindness weren't so foreign my mother had just came to the state of Tennessee. My uncle had, it was, at that time, he was at 101st, he was a soldier, and he's a vet now, but she was a single mom and she had just got divorced. She didn't have a penny to her name. We lived in this little house, I mean, all together. It was so crowded and she scraped and saved up money. If it wasn't for a random act of kindness of a lady showing my mother how to get, um, 
how to go, where to get food, canned goods, where to get help. If it wasn't for the random act of kindness of people showing her, you know, where to get help. I don't even know if we would have made it. Where to get a job, where the job fairs were going on. And at that time, she was traveling from Clarksville to Nashville. She used to work at Opera Land. She was a housekeeper at like $4.75. And she had three girls. And we made it. But if it wasn't for those strangers, there were times where we didn't have a lot to eat. And if another lady hadn't came by with a bag, with a bag of groceries to feed us, we don't know how we would have made it. My mom didn't know how she was going to make it. All she knew that she was a single mom and she was just trying to make it. And she didn't know what else to do. We all need that at some time. Imagine how our community, not only our community, but how, imagine our world today, how it would be by just simply doing something. Not to get something in return, but just to do something because you want to do it just paying it forward to somebody how would we where would we be as a community if we actually did that for people sometimes time is more valuable to anything for anyone because you can't get that minute back that you waste you can't but it is the most valuable thing that we have as people it's the most valuable thing that we have. So by sitting here and spending it with others, you help boost, you want to help your community? Start helping by doing random acts of kindness or making donations or working at a food bank or like a, a help serving food to the homeless or visiting the elderly maybe or doing something like that. You will be surprised how good you feel, how great you feel. And if you're going to give to something, please do your research on it. Because there are so many places that they take that random act of kindness that all of us do. Because we all know what it's like to struggle and go through hard times. And they take advantage of that. And I get that. It's very hard to trust somebody that you have no knowledge of what their ulterior motives are. This day and age, you do have to be kind of cautious about things and and be careful about it. Way back when I was a kid, it wasn't really that big of a problem. It really wasn't. I mean, you still had to lock your doors, but it wasn't such a foreign concept. At least now, now in days it is. You're always expecting for somebody to ask for something in return, but back then it wasn't. And it was pretty hard, I'll be honest. I was out there for about a good two to three hours before somebody actually let me just sit there and help them out. It it did, it took about two or three hours and people looking at me like I was nuts and I was crazy. And that was fine and it was cool, but I just wanted to just do something for our community. Isn't that what it's all about? Being neighborly, helping your fellow neighbor um, with a problem. Because that's what we are as a community. As a community, people, um, you, you walk around every day, day in and day out, and you pass them. And you don't know what type of battles these people are, are dealing with. It could be a single dad dealing with something. It could be a mom going through uh, the mommy zombie mode, which, hello, most of us have been through. A single parent or a widow or an elderly person. I think those are the hardest times to ask for help when you feel like you're drowning in a sea of craziness and you just don't know how to ask for help or you just simply are in this fog that you can't really see your way out of it and you just need help and it's hard because we're prideful and then you start thinking somebody's weird like really freaky weird because they just want to do stuff for you and they keep pestering you (laughs) and you just don't get it 
like I said, I was raised old school, man. Those and in New York City, let me tell you, New York City back in the day was a little crazy. But that's what they did in in that apartment building in a little kitchen. That's what they did for each other. My grandparents, there was always you were always helping somebody in that. They took care of you, you took care of them. That's what being neighborly was all about. That's how you make a community flourish. And every garden got some weeds, I understand that. But if we really wanna help our community, we have to start out by helping each other first. Just doing something simple. And it's all right if you don't want the help, but at least somebody offered. And I think in, in your eyes, the fact that somebody sat there and took the time out of their day to notice that maybe you were struggling means a lot and that they care. And it was an amazing day for me. I, I, I mean, I got to talk to people that I would have never, never normally talked to. And I came home and I cooked dinner and had an amazing time with my kids. My husband flipped out a little bit because I was helping random people. He's like, you can't do that nowadays because we got cuckoo birds in the world today. But that's not what it's all about. It's about helping people. And just doing something. Doing something about it. That's what it's all about, right? All right, guys. So I got to go inside. I got coffee waiting for me. Uh, my kids got to get to school. And I got to eat my breakfast and get my day started because it's going to be a busy one. It's going to be a blast. I can't wait to see how many people I get to help. It's something that I'm definitely going to continue because it really has impacted my life and made me feel really great. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. So if y'all see me around the community and y'all notice, hey, wave at me, say hi, how you doing? No, I'm not a cuckoo bird. I'm just trying to help out where I can and do what I do what I can do a random act of kindness at a time. My name is Stephanie Robles. I hope y'all have an amazing rest of the day. Bye.